squad welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog if you are new here my name is you should know the drill now you should know my name is precious Moseko and welcome honey and of course if you want to be part of the precious squad make sure you click the subscribe button and if you want to be part of the notification gang gang make sure your post notification bell is on at all times i know people have been saying i don't get any notification nana nah. guys i think this is just youtube i don't know so click on it to turn it off and click back on it so that it's on again so that you get all the notifications on time all the time what today's topic huh? hmm. So, <laughs> everyone has been asking me about this. I know as YouTubers we always say this, ah, people have been asking, oh by the way, I've got my god kids here, so if you hear some noise, it's them. Apologies in advance. By the way guys, where did I get this? Damn it, I forgot. I forgot where I got this, but I love it. I only wore it once. Can you imagine? Once. Did I get it from... I can't remember, but I love it. 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 Ah, I love it because I don't have to wear my bra. Anyway, yeah, guys, everyone has been so interested about this, and I understand. I understand, guys. As content creators, I say this all the time. We put our lives out there. Put our life, lives out there where we share with you almost everything that happens in our lives. And me, not personally, when I started this channel, excuse me, I started it because I wanted to vent out after losing my mom. And I was like, you know what? I don't have, uh, at that time I was alone in America. Well, I had Ubuntu and my other people, but I had Ubuntu there. Uh, but also, the, like, I just felt like, you know what? It's time I start a YouTube channel and just share my life with you guys. And then it progressed to me now doing all my vlogs. It progressed to doing makeup, which I am not so bad, but not so good at it. Doing my hair, uh, plus size fashion, and, and, and to a point I was sharing about my relationships. So, okay. Those who know, <laughs> I was... <laughs> this is funny. So I was, I know I actually stopped talking about him and then everyone was like, I remember Utsi specifically was like, how's Akuru Mungalo Mungalona? Where is he? You know, where is he? And I don't, yeah, guys, so, okay. Those who don't know, if you are new, if you don't know, I had lived in America for two and a half years or two, two years, two years or so. I left in 2016, December, came in 2019, January. When I left, I was in a relationship this side. And if you don't know what happened there, just go back to my video. I think I recorded a video on what had happened. Uh, if you don't know, or if you want me to re record another video about that and where we are with that ex, let me know and I'll definitely record that video for you guys. So, uh, I was in a relationship this side. Things didn't work out. Well, I left and then things just didn't work out. In 2018, we broke up. I called it quits in January. I was like, I need to work on myself. I need to find myself first and, and all the things. And then I think March, April, then I was like, I'm ready to be in another relationship. So that's the thing with me, guys. I love hard. It's a Capricorn thing. Capricorns love hard, guys. Like, and it's actually a shame. Like, we always love, like, sometimes we know we're going to get hurt. Like, we know. But we still love hard. Like, I can't, that's the thing with me. And I've always told people that I never say I love you unless I, I do. Like, I don't just say I love you for convenience. I don't do that. I don't do that to myself. I don't do that to my soul and my heart. My precious heart saying they love you. Dreamer, 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 doggy, dreamer, babes. So, uh, 2018, I started praying. 
And Kaisa was very intentional. I always say this when I talk about this relationship. I was intentional about this specific relationship. When I prayed, and I trust me, I have never prayed for a relationship in my life, but then I said down when I knelt down, I spoke to God. I was like, Bona babes, direct you go head tissue again, direct you get a pandemic, because then guys told I that's not one other fan of pandemic. Hey, oh, Jolo, Jolo, the cutters are man. Hey, guys, in Jolo, you paint him. God, that forward we go. Return, we are with you guys, forward we go all the time. Like, my dog was already, why? Why? Why do you have to live life and live with the Jolo? Why? Huh? <laughs> so I was intentional, like, God, brother, God. For like, I'm going tell you, I'm to also. Physically, from what to what he, um, then I come so I want to you know. Ah, looks. I mean, I'm not that bad, but you know, okay. Like one time I do it. Okay, guys, like a cute couple. And I want him to have a car because the reason I wanted that and the reason that was so important to me is I didn't have a car in America. I mean, I was able to get around because I used my host family's car. But America is like, for example, Okori lives 20 minutes away from me. But there was an Agnatic slap where I'd be like, taxi, I'd have to Uber, you know? So, guys, I was, I'm gonna pay. That and in America, I was not even getting paid that much. So, to Uber to go see your baby boy, it was not part of the plan, my financial plan. So, I was just like, it just could not be me. It is never me. It will never be me. Yeah. I want someone who has a place, who has his own place. Because I can't bring people over. Because I'm Kali Guam, I'm Kali Kiti. And in Akita, I wouldn't do that. But I'm Kali, you know, I'm not at home. I'm not at my place. And I think I'm not at my place. And I'm not even home. Because even here at home, it would like, my auntie would just like, Auntie. <laughs> Miguel, what's happening? So anyway, uh, and then I was like, I want someone who works, who can financially maintain themselves, and we can we will be able to go out, go on dates, go on vacation, or vacations, you know, like do the lights. Fine. And then by that time, I was in, I think, three dating apps. Tinder was one of them. Bumble was the other one. I can't remember the other one, and that's where I met Okori. So you guys don't know the story. Met Okori through a dating app, and he had sent uh, a text because that's the thing. I wouldn't be in these apps a lot. Like when I was bored, I would just go back, especially Tinder. I'll go back, and you guys know my Tinder stories. Like if you've been with me, you know I had Tinder drama. But then I would just share more cup me to these days, especially if it's at night and we have to go party. I would tag, she would tag along with me and and and. <laughs> so Tinder was a thing, dude. Tinder was like a thing. I went on all these things, guys. Oh, ah, but was America. I said they will take care of you. They will take good care of you. You will go out. They will pay for everything. The end of the day, I don't know if that's how they are. And you know, with me, I'm used to being. I'll pay. I'll pay. They're like, the I like, okay, I was like, okay, so they take they took good well, good care of me. And these dates would only last like a day and after that I'd mice them, block them, done. Next. Next to the going back to the next per oh going to the next person basically. And then Corey happened. He had sent me a text in May or in June. I think in June. I, I don't think I saw it. I didn't see it. Because then if I saw it, I probably would be like, ah, oh, I would have responded. Then one day, Jay, it was a sad day. I was talking to Ubuli on the phone, on WhatsApp, and Bunte. And then Ubuli is my friend, Megan Rapa. And then Ubuli was that side with me, obviously. So I was chatting, I'm like, dude, I am bored. Mind you, I'm having wine. Having wine, I'm like, dude, I'm bored. Like, I, I need, and not that I need a man, but I need to be, I need attention, you know. For no doesn't be pay attention, guys. My friends always give me attention, and like, you guys, clean moral, like, I'm bored, I think I'm bored, I'm like, I know, like, oh, friend, you look cute, oh, friend. 
Yeah, but I don't mind my puma printing me, guys. It's been a corona once. <laughs> so, okay. Hi, guys. Yeah. Vaccinate us once, guys. Vaccinate us. Anyway, then the day, yeah, I decided to go through all these apps. But specifically, I start on this one, which I was not even giving attention to. I go through and I'm like, uh, uh. I see a call and I'm like, the app. And I lose it, you know. I was so mad. I was literally going back because one, I didn't get the name. Like I just saw the picture, and I was like, I go, I go, I go. I finally find him again. Click on it. Hi, how are you, my name is Precious? Do you want to meet up? Do you want to hook up? Mind you, when I am sending this, obviously, even if he says yes, I'm thinking he's gonna be like, yeah, let's have a date during the week or at the weekend, blah blah blah. So I'm not bothered. Ah, baby boy, response. Hi, yes, let's meet up now. Send me your location. Like, say what? <laughs> too many stony days. Do too many. Do too many location. <laughs> now I'm stressed while my hair was bad. Guys, if I can find that picture of that day, it was being done, and how my hair was. Like, you know, when the growth. If I can find it, I'm gonna try and find it on my Google pictures. I I was wearing my pajama shorts and I was like, I'm just gonna go like this. And I was wearing this other bra, my bralette. A bralette and a tank top. It was a bit chilly, but also I was wearing shorts and I was not about to change into jeans and 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 I just threw a cuddy on and I think I had on my mules. Baby boy is like, I am outside. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, I went out. I used the basement door. I went out. As soon as I opened the door. You know, I never believe in love at first sight until I met Ukor. It was love, love at first sight. I looked into this guy's eyes. Yo, brown eyes. I was like, you are babes right now. You here. Yeah. As love at first sight, we just connected, we jowled. And then we drove. So then I said to Ukunda and Muli, I'm a location one in case something happens, obviously. Because it was very irresponsible for me to do that. So guys, don't do that. Don't just leave with someone you don't know. Don't do that. I did. Don't do that. I was lucky. Being, like I was lucky. <laughs> I we went, we drove to this that down the road basically. So while we're driving, we're talking about yeah, now you could just tell. I don't know if he wanted a serious relationship or what. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But then I remember saying to him, I am not about to book a flight from South Africa when I leave. Mind you, this is six months before I leave the country. Seven months before I leave the country. So like, I'm not about to book a flight all the way from South Africa and come here for a man. And very until this day, I still stayed Ngalentole. To a point when even like when we are dating, I even told him, Guti, when I come back, I don't want to come back just because I'm coming back to you. I want to come back because I have work or I have to study, you know, and then you are like the bonus to it. Because now, like, I feel like I'm just going to live my life because, like, through you, I'm not like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be present. Fine. Uh, then we, 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 we date. We date with baby boy. We date. We talk about our plan marriage um kids but Corey's relationship and i was healthy because then after my previous relationship i told myself i don't want to be in a toxic relationship ever i don't want to be paranoid ever in my life when it comes to relationships i, I like god whatever you do whatever you bring in my life can i just not Fine, we dated, I met his mom, I met his friends, he met my people, went to one day, met Felicita, John, the kids, you know, and everyone's like, oh, you guys are so cute, my, my uh, family in South Africa was like, oh, you guys are so cute in Kenya, <laughs> and then, <laughs> we spoke about me leaving, because you know? what, my plan was to go back to America to study. And unfortunately, things didn't work out right. And 
I remember he had a dream. Well, this is what he says, but he had a dream. Like I just had a dream, and I remember I had picked me up over, dropping me back at home. And he had a dream where uh, I left America and I didn't come back. I only come back years late. Came back years later. We both had kids and they were married and and. But his heart was still with mine. Like he still loved me, and he felt guilty which he let me go. Blah 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 blah. So I don't know what he or how he wanted me to react to that dream. Eh? But now when I think about it, I'm just like, dude, yeah, you let me go. You let me go. Like you did let me go. But okay, we move. So obviously when I left, we didn't break up, ne? But we both felt like it was the last time we saw each other. We didn't break up because also I was still having I had a visa, a visa appointment. Then the first one got declined and I was like, yo. I, the second one was declined. When the third one was declined, I was just like. But I was I still had hope because he also planned to come. Guys, he planned to come. And now I was telling you guys about this. He planned to come. But throughout this process, like I feel like I was not, I don't want to say I was in a toxic relationship. I don't want to put it like that. Koi and I were very open about so many other things, right? But I felt like I was also falling into making him happy before I'm happy. We spoke about, I was the one trying to go back more than he was trying to come here. Um, I was, I'd say I want this. And then you say, no, I don't want it like this. I want it like that. I'd be like, oh, okay, sharp. You know, like it was... <sighs> Yeah, I, I was kind of losing myself in it and I was not aware and I always had I had to apologize guys you are in that relationship I always had to apologize because of the accent barrier basically because he would assume I said this and I'm like no I didn't say that I said it I said that and then he would get into fights for stupid things like that and he wouldn't even come down and say excuse when he's wrong as the one Taro, Taro, Aski, Aski, Aski. Yo, it was yo, you are, you, 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 babes, you are. I can't live life in the the patients. It couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Anyway, all right. We 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 talk on the phone. We talk on the phone, and then he was. One thing I noticed, Cora was insecure, I think. I think it was insecure. And if he gets to watch this, I'm just telling the truth. I think he's, he was insecure in a relationship, yeah, not, because I think he thought I was doing something this side, or I was entertaining guys this side. Because that's the thing, every time I went out, I'd take a picture and send it to him. Not for approval, but be like, babe, look at me today, you know? I would interact with him because one, no, I was not entertaining anyone. I was just depressed because I'm back at home. I don't have no job. Like my life is just stagnant. Until I decided to move from home. And now this is when I had started my permanent job. I moved and I think he had a problem with that. But I told him I'm like the other reason I'm moving is when you come this side. So every time I was the one pushing him coming this side. I'm like, when you come this side, instead of us booking a hotel, you can come to my place. So I was the one always pushing. Well, did he, did, he, did he ever go apply for your passport? He always had excuses why he couldn't go apply for his passport. This man had vacation days, which he took. But anyway, and then pandemic hit. And then, yeah. When the pandemic hit, I was just like, yeah. But anyway, I don't say anything. Because, you know, guys, when I say Capricorns love hard, and we have faith. Anyway, mid June, baby boy tells me what he, uh, he thinks we should break up. Not now, but he just thinks he should break up because, or oh, we need to start talking about breaking up because uh, he doesn't see how we're gonna meet. Maybe we're never gonna meet again, or I'm never gonna come in America. And I'm like, I'm never gonna come. Are you ever gonna come to South Africa? Because remember, he was like, I can't leave. My people here and come there and I'm like so who's supposed to leave their people and go away 
you know, like that really concerned me. Anyway, after that, like I was hurt. I don't know, like I was hurt because I was like, you know what? I just feel like I've been single since I left America. Like that was like I broke up with him from that day on. Like we were just done, you know. And yeah, finally we were entertaining each other. But to a point where I had to beg for I'm a video call. Can I video call you? Yeah, baby boy, boy said to me he's tired of video calls or he doesn't like video calls any longer because he feels like he's in prison. That we are told like a book. Tommy, they will pay. Let me go and go and tell you. But depending, yeah, you feel like you're in prison. You're very cool. You're your girlfriend. Got okay. And now our, our even our conversations were a routine. I wake up. Good morning. My boy, my love, on his way to work. He calls. Hi, how are you? Good dance. How uh, how do you sleep? Is it well? You okay? I'm okay. Um, how's work yesterday? Work was a and we keep quiet. <laughs> Sometimes there would be a conversation, but it wouldn't even go that long, you know. And then so I was like, ah, uh, la, and they are entertaining Jay because you know, but JNJ, as I said, like especially him, he was not there. He was not. There. I think he had found someone that entertained him the way I used to. Now, oh, precious is not there now. Precious is not there. So. Why is he holding on, you know? Then, we, then I was like, okay, when you're ready to let go, just let me know. Because now, currently, I'm not doing anything. Like, I'm not with anyone, and my life is kind of boring. Shut up. Then there was a time where there was just um, a drama where he called. I couldn't pick up. I got it as a missed call because I was hosting. And then I called him back. He didn't respond. So that's the thing. I will call him back, or I would just call him on the weekend. He would, like, on a Saturday, I will call him. He wouldn't call me back, he'd call me on a Monday. <laughs> During the pandemic. And I was like, okay, shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. And then we had that fallout and then uh we spoke about it. And then during that conversation we were talking about why I couldn't answer my phone. Baby boy was like, don't call me babe. I'm like, eh. Ah, okay. That's it. Tell me when you're ready to talk, cause me now I'm not in a good space to fight with you. Like Corey and I used to fight all the time, guys. Like for no reason. Like we would have a really nice conversation. Chigi chigi. Say that class not quite deep. And I'm like, what happened? Like, what did I lose? What did I miss? So yeah, it was just an on and on going thing, and it was getting exhausting, cause I was always saying sorry. You know, as literally for no reason. Like sometimes I wouldn't even know what I did. I'd still say sorry, you know. And I was like, do I really want to spend the rest of my life with this person? It doesn't make sense. Yes, I love him. Don't I love him so much? But yo, I it's exhausting good to you. It's exhausting, you know. And then uh we and then oh after that drama he didn't talk to me for like almost a week or two. Then I sent him a text, I'm like, dude, I want to know where I stand with you because this thing of, like, it really, like, it was weighing on me, it was weighing on me and I was just so annoyed, I really wanted E, okay, we're done, boom, bye. So that I can also move on with my life and see other people if I have to or if I want to. Fine. Um, and then, what happened? Oh, and then he's like, yeah, oh, and then we called each other. That's when the bomb hit. Yay, baby boy. So I was already out of the relationship after he had actually mentioned it. The first time he mentioned it, I was like, there's no coming back from this. I was like, and then I think that's what I do. It's it's one of my strengths. I get out of relationship while I'm still in it so that when it's officially over, I don't get hurt that much. Then he calls him and then I was like, call me when you wake up. He calls him like, I'm like, me sharp, sharp. So can we just talk? What is happening? He's like nothing. I'm like don't say. I'm like don't say nothing. Like there is something happening. You haven't been talking to me. Like, kids are like you were mad. Don't call me love. Uh, I I even say to him drive safely. I love you. Whatever. You you. You know about being my partner that day. You know about love. You have Did not do the right things. Because now, precious now is like, yeah, okay, fine. 
we and then he's like no thing is i just feel like we just have to break up because i'm actually doing you a favor so that you you see your people got you. and i'm like hey, whoa, 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 whoa. don't try and turn this around if you're seeing someone i thought we were mature enough to say okay hello babes uh, it's not working out because me and i'm seeing someone else so i still love you but this is where it ends no hard feelings sure so that if or when we do see each other again like when i like i'm planning to go visit and if i do see him or bump into him i can say oh hey how are you you know we catch up good dad because now chances are i'm gonna be in a relationship as well so we're okay oh, babes there i think one thing that made me realize Guti, even if i go back or when i go back chances of me going back with him are not going to happen was when he said i did not try hard enough to go back to america yo i lost it there i lost it i was just like you know what bye because how many visas have i applied for just to go back to america yes it was not meant for him but he was he was always there like i would plan these things with him you know i mean i left half of my clothes in america oh which some of the athletes place because when I went to the airport, because he was driving me there with Ophelia Sitter, but he, we went in together. My bags were too heavy, so I had to take out some jerseys, like two or three, and then I, he's like, okay, no, we'll get them when we come back. So I need those sweaters. I need those sweaters. And now, obviously, when I call his mom, mama, I need my sweater. Can we meet up or what? What do you do? What's up? <laughs> You know, so that's just so ridiculous. I remember I when he was calling out, uh, husband was sitting with me and had him on loudspeaker. When he said that, husband was like, Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, it's there. So, moral of the story, Koi and I broke up. <laughs> we broke up, guys. I feel like you guys knew. Because you just wanted me to do sit down with this long video. Hi guys, now I need to find an awkward position because now my and my dating <laughs> my peasants now, my men's right now, all of them now will probably watch this and say, How? Hi, <laughs> ah, but anyway, so yeah, when I broke up and I'm okay. I've been okay. Like even after it happened, I was not mad at the fact that we broke up. I was mad at the fact that he and Zegaja. He was not mature enough to actually, or he didn't have balls uh, to say it's over. Like I'm done. He didn't have the courage to say that, which really annoyed me. And him saying I didn't try hard enough. That like, yeah, it kicked my ass. I was just like, hell to the no. It just cannot be me hearing these words from this man. So I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. I'm don't. I'm good. I am good. Am I in a relationship or ships? <laughs> wait for the next video. Not maybe not to next week, but wait for the next video. And those who I have on WhatsApp, hey, I'm an entanglement. <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll actually address that in another video because this is too long now. Because now I need to tell you how we met, or you know, with all these people. So I think I'm just gonna do a video with all my intense moments, be like how we met, and put in one. Can you imagine? And they see, or they all see each other. Like how many? Four of them. They all see each other in one video. And then I'll save the best for last. And the one I think I'm going to, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me today and watching till the end. I love you guys so much and I appreciate your love and support. To all the people who've known already, they've been uh, asking, are you okay? I'm yes, okay, I am okay, I am good. I'm at peace, I'm happy. I've been single for two years. So, I've healed. I was in a healing journey. I was getting myself and finding myself. You know, so I'm happy, I'm okay, my camera's about to die. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!